verbs and tenses. I find maths very tough. I found it difficult last year, but this year the story is different. Who helped you with your maths? It was Nalin, sir. He will help you too. In the conversation, the boys have spoken about happenings at different times using different forms of verbs. Here are some examples of verbs showing different tenses. I find maths very tough. I found it difficult last year, but this year the story is different. Who helped you with your maths? It was Nalin, sir. He will help you too. Definition Verbs are words that tells us what a person or thing does, what is done to a person or thing, and what a person or thing is. Verbs are words that tell something about a person or thing. It is by using the verb in its various forms that we are able to express the time of an event or action. This is called tense of that verb. Let us look at a few sentences. Harshita drinks milk in the morning. Jason was upset at his friend's behavior. The dance competition will be held tomorrow. In the first sentence, drinks is a verb since it tells us something about Harshita and it refers to present time. This verb is in present tense. In the next sentence, was is a verb as it tells us something Jason was and it refers to past time. This verb is in past tense. In the last sentence, will be held is a verb as it tells about something that will be done and it refers to future time. This verb is in future tense. Here are few examples of sentences with verbs in past, present and future tense. Geet was given an award for excellence in academics, past. Subhash will never shift from Mumbai, future. Honesty is the best policy. Present. Simple present tense. I get up at 5 a.m. every day. I sleep late, so I wake up late too. I really love the sunrise. I go for a walk in the park. It keeps me fresh all through the day. Keith says, a thing of beauty is joy forever. In the dialogues, the girls have used simple present tense to describe a habit, what generally happens and to introduce a quotation. Here are examples of sentences with verbs in simple present tense. I get up at 5 a.m. every day. I sleep late, so I wake up late too. I really love the sunrise. I go for a walk in the park. It keeps me fresh all through the day. Keith says, a thing of beauty is joy forever. Definition Simple present tense is used for habitual actions, general facts, what always or often happens, daily routine, to introduce a quote and to tell about a future event which is a part of a fixed schedule. Let us look at a few sentences. Lisa lives with her aunt. The train leaves at 6 p.m. The earth revolves around the sun. In the first sentence, the verb lives tells us what generally happens and is simple present tense. In the next sentence, the verb leaves is simple present tense as it tells about a future event, which is part of a fixed timetable. In the third sentence, the verb revolves is again simple present tense 
since it expresses a general truth or a fact. Here are few more examples of use of simple present tense. I need vegetables and fruits from the market. She dances. Is, am, are. This scene is so beautiful. I'm going for a swim. Will you join me? No, Rani is coming to the beach just now. Rest of the girls are playing beach ball. We will join them. Then we are invited for lunch at Rani's place. In the dialogues, the girl and boy have used is, am and are to describe something with ing verb to form present continuous tense and with the past participle to show passive. Here are examples of sentences with is, am and are. The scene is so beautiful. I'm going for a swim. Rani is coming to the beach just now. Rest of the girls are playing beach ball. Then we are invited for lunch at Rani's place. Definition Is, am and are are used before adjectives, nouns and pronouns as main verbs. As auxiliary verbs, they form passive voice with past participle and present continuous tense with ing verb. Is is used with he, she, it, who, any name, any relationship and all singular things. Am is used with I. Are is used with we, they, you and all plural things. All three are used to denote present tense. Let us look at a few sentences. Shikha is sad because her father is sick. I am trying to concentrate on the topic. Kids are pampered by all. They are enjoying the party. In the first sentence, is has been used after singular subject to describe something. In the next sentence, am has been used after I and with ing verb to form present continuous tense. In the third sentence, are has been used after plural subject and with past participle to show passive voice. In the last sentence, are has been used after plural subject and with ing verb to form present continuous tense. Here are few more examples of use of is, am and are. I am surprised that she is talking to everyone. My mother is a doctor. The boys are scolded by the teacher every day for making noise. Present progressive tense I like the movie. I'm enjoying it very much too. My sister is reading the book on which this movie is based these days. Have you watched the movie earlier? No, I'm watching it for the first time. In the dialogues, the girl and the boy have used present progressive tense to express something that is happening at the time of speaking and to speak about an action in process for some time. Here are examples of sentences with verbs in present progressive tense. I'm enjoying it very much too. My sister is reading the book on which this movie is based these days. I'm watching it for the first time. Definition Present progressive tense is used for an action that is going on at the time of speaking or is in process for some time. It also expresses an action that has already been scheduled to take place in the near future. Let us look at a few sentences. I am learning yoga nowadays. Manish is inviting all his friends for a party tonight. 
the girls are playing hide and seek in the first sentence the verb am learning gives information about an action going on for some days and is present progressive tense in the next sentence the verb is inviting is present progressive tense as it tells about an action that has already been arranged to take place in the near future in the third sentence the verb are playing is again present progressive tense since it tells about an action going on at that time of speaking here are few more examples of use of present progressive tense our guests are arriving day after tomorrow daisy is cooking food for everyone in the family have and has do you have an extra pencil yes i have forgotten to bring my pencil box i think my sister has taken my box today doesn't she have a pencil box she has one in the dialogues the girls have used have and has to show possession and to form perfect tenses here are examples of sentences with have and has do you have an extra pencil i have forgotten to bring my pencil box i think my sister has taken my box today doesn't she have a pencil box she has one definition have and has are used to show possession as main verbs and also denote eating as auxiliary verbs they are used with participles to form perfect tenses have is used with i we they you and all plurals has is used with he she it who any name any relationship and all singular nouns or pronouns both have and has denote present tense let us look at a few sentences lucy has a grand mansion harry has bought a new car all the children have new bags for the new session in the first sentence has has been used after a name to show possession in the next sentence has has been used after a name and with past participle bought to form present perfect tense in the last sentence have has been used with plural children to show possession here are few more examples of use of have and has my father has many friends they have gone to shimla for vacations present perfect tense it has rained a lot since morning the roads have become so dirty at least the temperature has gone down i have not done my laundry due to the rain i have decided to do it tomorrow in the dialogues the ladies have used present perfect tense to talk about something that began in the past has continued up till the present moment and it affects is felt strongly in the present moment here are examples of sentences with verbs in simple present tense it has rained a lot since morning the roads have become dirty at least the temperature has gone down i have not done my laundry due to the rain i have decided to do it tomorrow definition present perfect tense is used for an action just completed an action that began at some time in the past and has continued till the present moment and about past events 
with no specific time information. Let us look at a few sentences. Sunanda has left for the hospital just now. I have watched this movie. Lokesh and Danish have been friends since childhood. In the first sentence, the verb has left tells us that the action has been completed just now and is present perfect tense. In the next sentence, the verb have watched is present perfect tense as it tells about a past action without specific time information. In the third sentence, the verb have been is again present perfect tense since it tells about an action that began at some time in the past and has continued till present time. Here are few more examples of views of present perfect tense. I have finished all my work. Lavanya has made this delicious cake. Simple past tense I have stomach ache. I went to the market yesterday. There I ate some street food. I advised you last time against eating street food. The smell of the food tempted me uncontrollably. In the dialogues, the girl and her doctor have used simple past tense to describe actions that happened in past time. Here are examples of sentences with verbs in simple past tense. I went to the market yesterday. There I ate some street food. I advised you last time against eating street food. The smell of the food tempted me uncontrollably. Definition in simple past tense, the verb tells us about an action that was completed in the past. Simple past tense is used mostly when information of time is given. When time is not indicated, then it is implicit or made clear by the context. Past habits are also expressed by using this tense. Let us look at a few sentences. My friends lived in the house next door for 10 years. Om smoked regularly during college days. Alexander defeated Boris in the battle between the Greeks and the Indians. In the first sentence, the verb lived tells us what happened in the past for some time and is simple past tense. In the next sentence, the verb smoked is simple past tense as it tells about a past habit. In the third sentence, the verb defeated is again simple past tense since it speaks about an event that occurred in the past, its time being implicit. Here are few more examples of use of simple past tense. Left, ran spoke, smiled, gave. Regular and irregular verbs Aditi, what is the past tense of the verb call? It is called. Good. And what is its past participle? It is again called. That's right. Now tell me, what is the past tense of the verb drive? It is drove. And what is the past participle? It is driven. So the verb call has three forms. Call, called and called. It is a regular verb. Since its past tense and past participle are formed by adding ed to call. The verb drive also has three forms, drive, drove, driven. But it is an irregular verb since the past tense and past participle are not formed by adding ed but in some other way. Definition 
If the past tense and the past participle of a verb are formed by adding ed, it is called a regular verb. But if the past tense and the past participle of a verb are formed in a manner apart from adding ed, it is called an irregular verb. Example for regular verb Talk, base. Talked, past. Talked, past participle. Stop, base. Stopped, past. Stopped, past participle. Let us look at some rules for irregular verbs. All three forms are same. Example, hit base, hit past, hit past participle. Two of the three forms are same. Example, dig base, dug past, dug past participle. All three forms are different. Example, shake base, shook past, shaken. Past participle. Was and were. I saw a huge rat as I was walking down the road. Once I came into our house last week, we were also so afraid. I was scared too, but the children on the road were laughing at me. My mother used a rat trap and the rat was trapped. In the dialogues, the girls have used was and were to describe something with ing verb to form past continuous tense and with the past participle to show passive voice. Here are examples of sentences with was and were. I saw a huge rat as I was walking down the road. We were also afraid. I was scared too, but the children on the road were laughing at me. My mother used a rat trap and the rat was trapped. Definition Was and were are used before adjectives, nouns and pronouns as main verbs. As auxiliary verbs, they form passive voice with past participle, and past continuous with ing verb. Was is used with he, she, it, who, any name, any relationship and all singular things. Were is used with I, we, they, you and all plural things. Both are used to denote past tense. Let us look at a few sentences. Avantika was very happy yesterday because it was her birthday. Ratan fell down while he was playing football. The students were summoned by the principal. In the first sentence, was has been used after singular subject to describe a feeling and also before a noun. In the next sentence, was has been used after singular subject and with ing verb to form past continuous tense. In the third sentence, were has been used after plural subject and with past participle to show passive voice. Here are few more examples of use of was and were. I was amazed when I was placed first in class. My father was a teacher. Past progressive tense I was cycling last evening for one hour. I like cycling, but I can't do it for an hour. I did it for the very first time yesterday. It was tiring, but I stopped only because my father called. In the dialogues, the girls have used past progressive tense to talk about an action that went on for some time in the past and also to talk about another action that happened when the first action was in process. Here are examples of sentences with verbs in past progressive tense. I was cycling last evening for one hour. It was tiring but I stopped only because my father called. Definition 
Past progressive tense is used for an action in process for some time in the past and also for an action that was going on in past when another action happened. Let us look at a few sentences. They were studying together for the exams last evening. I was washing clothes when my friend knocked on the door. In the first sentence, the verb was studying gives information about an action that continued for some time in the past and is past progressive tense. In the next sentence, the verb was washing is past progressive tense as it tells about a past action that was in process when another action occurred. Here are few more examples of use of past progressive tense. I was making tea when my husband came from the office. Ritu was dancing while her brother was studying. Future tense I will come to your place tomorrow. My mother will call your mother today in the evening. My party will be incomplete without you. I need your promise that you will not miss it. I will attend the party for sure. In the dialogues, the boys have used future tense to describe some actions that will take place in future time. Here are examples of sentences with verbs in future tense. I will come to your place tomorrow. My mother will call your mother today in the evening. My party will be incomplete without you. I need your promise that you will not miss it. I will attend the party for sure. Definition In future tense, the verb tells us about an action that we believe will happen in the future or about a future fact, something that is bound to happen in the future. Let us look at few sentences. It will be Christmas next month. We will go to the party in the evening. Anu thinks Sarita will top the class. In the first sentence, the verb will be tells us a future fact and is future tense. In the next sentence, the verb will go as future tense as it tells tables out an action we believe we will take in future. In the third sentence, the verb will top is again future tense since it expresses something Anu thinks will happen in future time. Here are few more examples of use of future tense. Gitika will find time for her favorite sport. Tulika will bring food for everyone. Can and could. I have lost my phone. Could you lend me your phone for a few minutes? Of course, I can give you my phone. Can I help you look for your phone? It can be in the washroom. Yes, how could I have forgotten it there? In the dialogues, the girls have used can and could to make a request, to ask for permission, to express a possibility and to show ability both in present and past tense. Here are examples of sentences with can and could. Could you lend me your phone for a few minutes? Of course, I can give you my phone. Can I help you look for your phone? It can be in the washroom. How could I have forgotten it there? Definition Can and could are models and are used for requests, permission, ability and possibility. Could is past form of can and is considered more polite and formal. It is also used in conditional sentences. 
Let us look at a few sentences. Sabha can dance like a professional ballerina. When I was in college, I could skate very well. Can you drop me to the bus stop? If we had some mangoes, I could make you some mango shake. In the first sentence, can has been used to show ability. In the next sentence, could has been used to show past ability. In the third sentence, can has been used for a request. In the last sentence, could has been used in a conditional sentence. Here are few more examples of use of can and could. It could have rained last night, but the sky cleared magically. Lauren can help you learn dance. May and might. I may go to watch another movie tomorrow. May I come with you? You will have to ask your mother first. Will she allow you? I have done all my holiday homework, so she might allow me. I wish she would. May your wish come true. In the dialogues, the girls have used may and might to ask for and grant permission for possibility and to express a wish. Here are examples of sentences with may and might. I may go to watch another movie tomorrow. May I come with you? I have done all my holiday homework, so she might allow me. May your wish come true. Definition May and might are model auxiliaries. May is used for possibility and might for a weaker possibility. May is also used to grant and ask for permission and also to express a wish. Let us look at a few sentences. May I use your washroom? I might be late for the party. The interviewer may ask you some tough questions too. May your day be full of warmth and laughter. In the first sentence, may has been used to ask for permission. In the next sentence, might has been used for a weak possibility. In the third sentence, may has been used for a possibility. In the last sentence, may has been used for expressing a wish. Here are few more examples of use of may and might. You may study any subject you like. It might rain heavily tomorrow. May you always live happily. Do, does and did. Do you like to swim? I'm scared but I don't want to learn it. Did you learn to swim yourself? Yes, I did so myself. When do you do your homework? I do my homework as soon as I return from school. Does your sister also swim well? No, my sister does not like swimming. In the dialogues, the girls have used do, does and did to speak of performance of some action, for emphasis, to ask questions and to form negatives, both in present and past tense. Here are examples of sentences with do, does and did. Do you like to swim? But I do want to learn it. Did you learn to swim yourself? Yes, I did so myself. When do you do your homework? I do my homework as soon as I return from school. Does your sister also swim well? No, my sister does not like swimming. Definition do, does and did 
are used for expressing the performance of some action as main verb. As auxiliaries, these verbs are used to form negatives, to ask questions and for emphasis. Do is used with I, we, they, you and all plurals in present tense. Does is used with he, she, it, any name, any relationship and all singular words in present tense. Did is used with I, we, they, you, he, she, it, any name or relationship, all singular words and all plurals in past tense. Let us look at a few sentences. Did you hear the announcement? Do come to the party. Karen does not know my number. In the first sentence, did has been used with the subject you to ask a question in simple past tense. In the next sentence, do has been used for emphasis. In the last sentence, does has been used with a name to form a negative in simple present tense. Would and should. You should go to the doctor at once. I would have gone yesterday, but some guests arrived. My brother should accompany me, but he refused. Would you come with me? Okay, I should be free around 11 a.m. tomorrow. In the dialogues, the boys have used would and should to express suggestion or advice, obligation, request, probability and the past forms of will. Here are examples of sentences with would and should. You should go to the doctor at once. I would have gone yesterday but some guests arrived. My brother should accompany me, but he refused. Would you come with me? I should be free around 11 a.m. tomorrow. Definition Would and should are auxiliary verbs and past equivalents of will and shall. Would is used for permission and polite request, past habit, strong wish and in conditionals. Should is used for obligation, advice, suggestion, expectation and probability. Let us look at few sentences. I should be home by 10 pm. You should not drink cold water in winters. When Ritu was in college, she would often bunk classes. If I was the richest person on earth, I would not work at all. In the first sentence, should has been used to express a probability. In the next sentence, should has been used to offer an advice. In the third sentence, would has been used for a past habit. In the last sentence, would has been used in a conditional sentence in respect to a hypothetical situation. Here are few more examples of use of would and should in sentences. I wish they would not make so much noise. 